<laughs> it's cold out here. Uh, it's windy out here, but it is awesome. And we are at the top of Mill Mountain uh, in Roanoke, Virginia. It's where the big illuminated star is. It's actually right there. Uh, and this is an awesome and easy to access lookout point and you can see the whole city down below here. And it's been really fun to try out some different photography techniques. I've tried some long exposures, some long exposure time lapses. And now what I want to share with you guys is I'm doing some long lens panoramic images. And this is a really cool technique because you're going to be closer in on the city and on the buildings, but you get a wide angle view. And on top of all that, it ends up being an uh, ultra high quality, high megapixel image. So I'm shooting on the GH5, which shoots 20 megapixels. And when I string all these images together, four or five, six images together, you're essentially getting a 100 megapixel image. And so you can zoom in on things and everything looks really crisp. And to do this, what you're going to do is you are going to turn the camera from landscape view, which you would normally do for landscapes and cityscapes, into a vertical view and in Lightroom or Photoshop later you're gonna stack these images together side by side and the software basically does it for you now so I feel like I've had pretty good results with it and I wanted to share it with you guys so this is how I do it I'm shooting on the GH5 I've got the 100 to 400 lens I'm all the way zoomed out at 100 what that allows me to do is get right up on the buildings and really fill the frame and then when I string these all together I think and I hope it's gonna look really really cool it is kind of windy and cold out here tonight Woo! That was a big breeze. It is cold and windy out here tonight, so you want to make sure that you have a steady tripod, especially on a long lens, and if you're shooting semi-long exposures like we are tonight, uh, this is definitely crucial. You want to have a steady surface to mount your camera on. So the settings that I'm using tonight for this shot, I've got the aperture set to 4, I've got my shutter speed set to 2.5, and, and then I've got the ISO set to 1000. From here you want a nice steady tripod that you can pivot it on, and you want to capture images in increments, and also keep certain elements in each frame that transfer to the next frame, that way Lightroom knows which images go next to which ones. You also want to take a sequence in the direction that you're going. Typically, it's, it feels more natural to just go left to right. We're going to go far, oh look at that, looks like we're traveling light speed. You can see that I've got focus peaking on, that's all those blue lights there. That's showing me that I've got everything in focus. And so I'm going to find a good starting point that I find interesting here. Since I have a semi-long exposure on a long lens, is any movement that I touch the camera with uh, is going to cause motion blur. I've got a two second delay which allows me to get my hand off the camera, the camera to settle, and then takes a shot. And that way you get a nice crisp image. First image, we're going to go right about here, set it and take a shot. And then from there we're just going to move slightly to the right. All right, take another one. Looks good. Keep on going. And you may not end up using all these images when it comes down to it, but hey, if you came out here and you came up here, might as well capture uh, a bunch of them and then see which ones look good strung together once you get back into the editing room. All right, so we shot those images. Let's get back to the computer and let's see what they look like. So once you get back to the computer and you download all your images, import them into Lightroom, and then you can start to look at all the cool stuff that you've got. And then once you find the string of images that you want to create into a panoramic image, you just select the first one all the way to the last one. You right click that selection and you go to photo merge and then click on panorama. And from here, it gives you a few different options. And the most standard one that I have pretty good results with is just using the top spherical one. You let it create a preview, you make sure everything looks good. And yeah, that the preview looks pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and click merge, let Lightroom do its thing. And then once it completes that process, it puts the new file into your library at the bottom here. You just select that one and from here you can make whatever edits you think the image needs and I think it looks pretty good. From there you export it just like you would any other photo and that is how you get an ultra high resolution image uh, that looks really sharp in my opinion and they're also pretty fun to do. 
these are great if you want to sell stock images different things like that because these images are humongous um, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial if you did please leave this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you like this content and I'll see you guys in another video